Let's Hustle in Chi-Town. We're here at Route 66 Raceway right here on the Monday Morning Racer YouTube channel. I'm Lee Kraft, your host, and we're going to put in focus the newest NHRA door slammer class, Holly EFI Factory X. And for more on Factory X, what it is, let's speak with a man that was involved in the very inception of it and a wheel man that has drove nearly every door car out there imaginable. Lonnie Grimm is the NHRA National Tech Director and he he is certainly a man that was involved in the inception of Factory X. Lonnie, very quickly, the what and the why of Factory X. So the way that story started is we had OEs interested in EV racing. They needed a point of, of contention of how, how heavy can a car be, what chassis would it go under. So that's really where a lot of the discussion started was, okay, so let's go 25.3 chassis, which is our heaviest at 3,600 pounds. Now you need to develop uh, battery technology, drive in, drive motors uh, to be able to get to that kind of weight within a chassis to be able to have significant performance. So nonetheless, so we kind of gave them that mark. We also looked at our factory X component, our factory showdown component, and how cool would it be these cars to go much, much quicker. So how do we get a thousand pounds out of them? How do we put uh, a more tunable chassis underneath them uh, to where guys can really have fun with the same power plant that's using in Factory Showdown? That's really where Factory X come from. Factory X, you can build 25, one, two, or three. Obviously, from a builder standpoint, you want to build it as light as you can. So 25, one has been the chassis of choice at 2,800 pound maximum. We run them at 2,650 pounds. Uh, what is a good tire? Well. Uh, 3310.5 Outlaw tire, uh, 3310.5 W, uh, which really turns into about a 14 and a half, 33 by actual size, has been 370s in the eighth mile in unlimited platform power supply or in power plants. So, nonetheless, that's enough tire, 2650 pounds. Let's put Factory X together. Uh, their eventual, my eventual goal or NHRA's eventual goal for Factory X is uh, we'll see those cars in around the 680 range, uh, averaging somewhere in 202, 203 miles per hour. If we was to turn them loose with unlimited pulley, uh, some aftermarket parts in the engine, uh, they easily could uh, match race against our current pro stock competitor in NHRA. But Factory X is a great, great category. Got a lot of fan support in that, because uh, uh, in, in the case of Factory X, it looks like just like the car that I drove to the racetrack to buy my ticket to come watch this great, uh, a great event going on, and uh, or I've got one sitting in the garage. Uh, recently, we added even added a C7 Corvette uh, in a factory dimension, uh, which all the cars are between the Ford, the Dodge, and the Copo, and now the C7 Corvette. All factory dimensions, 14-inch wing on the back, dual parachutes, got 33105W tire, 2,650 pounds somewhere between 15 and 1600 horsepower. This coverage of Holly EFI Factory X brought to you by McKinney Corp right here on Monday Morning Racer. Two eliminations next. Dell uh, maybe have some motor issues in factory stock. For Chris to load the Factory X car as well. Out of free ride at round one here. Factory X. Holly EFI Factory X. One member of the Chessel 200 mile per hour club. No members of the ARP 6 sector club. It'd be a little shock if we added any here. You never know. Challenger, known as Blackbird, now driven by Alex Laughlin. Alex, you're a wheel man out here. You've been in just about every door car imaginable. U.S. Nationals winner in Pro Stock, World Door Slammer Nationals winner in Pro Mod, Wind Lights over there at No Prep Kings. How does a Factory X car drive? Uh, this thing is awesome. It's it's absolutely as close as it can get to a Pro Stock car. And so, uh, making the first laps in this thing, it was it really felt quite at home. Um, it's uh, it's super cool. 
Um, it's cool to be back in a clutch car. It's been, gosh, probably going on four years now since I've uh, had to use my left foot, but so far I'm loving it. First pair, round one, all EFI, map three X, here, the Gerber collision in class, Route 66, NHRA Nationals presented by Peak Performance, number four and five qualifier, evenly matched qualifier. Lenny Lottie turns on the wind light. They are not going to make the run. What a tough break that is for Stephen Bell. Number two qualifier, my dad. Rapes continues to beat his child. Stanfields, Aaron Stanfield, Greg Stanfield. We'll start with Greg in the final, along with your son in Factory X. How's the track been out there for these new hot rods? Track's been actually has been really good considering how hot it is. NHRA's done a good job prepping it for us. Uh, just glad to be here racing uh, the chosen one. 
<laughs> the chosen one, definitely having a good day, even over on the Mission Foods NHRA Pro Stocker side. How's this new hot rod and Factory X doing for you? I love it. We got some factory hot rods here. You know, racing my dad. That's that's just a that's a good day right there. And then uh, we got two cars in, in the final of factory stock. I'm in the final of pro stock. So it's been Chicago's been good to us today, and I'm gonna beat up on the old man. Which Stanfield are you pulling for? It's a win for Greg Stanfield. It's also the 50th win for the Rod Shop brand here in Factory X. Greg, you're basically a pioneer of this class. How far has it come along to this win today here in Chicago? Well, it's, it's been a lot of work for sure. Um, Got to give big thanks to the Rod Shop for uh, letting us support the logo on the car. I, I raced for them back in the 80s, so it's pretty cool to, to try to get them. That was our goal, is try to get them to 50 wins. So to do that is pretty special. Um, big thanks to you know the team guys, Ben Strader, Ross Wilson, Jim Taylor, everybody, Aaron, everybody at the shop that puts their effort into this. Big thanks to them, because it's been a lot of work.